what up what up y'all man welcome back to the man cave experience with myself cedric edison and my main man my friend ron servant glad to have y'all man y'all y'all know what the show is if you don't hey just sit back relax you'll find out what it is but let me check in with my man ron man what's happening over there on the other side of the gig well i'm going with a hat on little little bad hair day thing going on so i'm just kind of throwing this on making it simple for myself uh and you know what it, hair is hair right it's like who we show up inside is more important than what we look like on the outside so chucky in um kind of cozy today just you know just being in with you know because of the virus um you know, being semi-retired, um, staying home with my son, you know, who's off to school. Uh, unfortunately, my wife's still off to work, but just today feeling cozy because it's rainy outside, you know, in this space uh, and time of trying to, you know, monitor the things we're you know, being told to, you know, kind of be aware of and implement in our lives. Um, but feeling good, feeling uh, through everything that's going on with the COVID virus, with life, with transition, with um, you know, just everything that's in my world, still feeling a lot of flow, a lot of um, good energy, um, opportunity to really learn and grow, and and uh, just glad to be here with my my, my buddy. Uh, so how you doing? How you doing? I, I'm good, man. I'm in uh, in like a growth state, you know, because. Like it, it was rainy all week last week, man, and now the weather's getting nice. Hey, you know, because I'm what they consider essential, so I have to go out there and then, you know, think about man all the exposure and all of that, and still work through that, which which is cool for me because it's like pretty much all day just a constant reminder you know to to be aware of what's going on in my thoughts my emotions all that stuff so i'm i'm good man just grooving checking in on the ebbs and flow and just feeling open to growth man and uh yeah good old covid and uh it's kind of fun because I, I like what we was going to talk about you brought it up um you know, so distancing, and I, I get to get a funny perspective of it. You know, because I'm in different neighborhoods. Like I could be in one, literally, a course of a couple of hours, and just being able to see how people are adhering to it or not adhering to it. Uh, it's just kind of interesting, man, and. Having to experience it when you know, I'm not at work and and like today I had to go and you know see if I can get some tissue and lucked up on some and just some other stuff we needed needed around the house and it was just kind of interesting man seeing all the, the tape and and you know everything but to me I don't I don't look at it like it's a bad thing um, you know and we'll probably touch on it later. But to me, I think it's it's one of the ways the universe or God is not really saying stay because like you were saying earlier, you know, as far as cell phones, we already distance ourselves, you know. Um, but I think what it's forcing some people to do is to actually socially connect. Because when you're at home, you can just scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, I'm tired of scrolling on this one. Let me go scroll, 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 scroll. Now we're missing, since we can't have that human connection, we, we, we need that. We, that's just the way we are. And so now I think it's just causing us to have different types of interactions. I'm seeing people playing the games and, oh, tell me, Tell me something good that you did today. Oh, what are you guys eating? You know, whereas before it was just scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, hey, thumbs up, you know, emoji. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, but again, it's perspective though, yeah. you know, because I'm not naive and I understand that people are out there, man, oh my God, social distancing is the worst thing, <laughs> you know, since the blue blonde pelly type of thing. 
blue planet too. <laughs> 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 oh, I try to keep going, but then I'm. <laughs> I think those are all great points. I think you know we, you know, we've got something to do differently to you know hopefully benefit you know the the mass of people that are going through this whole experience and. Um, you know, I agree. I think, I think we can, I guess the challenge is how, when we learn these new things, when we're kind of going back in time and, and actually re-engaging in authentic conversations and, and showing up, you know, in a more positive way, you know, in, in person or on the phone or actually having that, you know, that clear, you know, face-to-face -face interaction versus like you said, on the social media where, we're, you know, kind of, you know, plugging in and, and liking or, or, or not restore commenting or all those types of things. I mean, that's all good and dandy, but you know, how can we continue that forward and really grow in a different way as human beings? And the social distancing, you know, could be, um, you know, taken in a way that, like you said, is impacting our lives. But you know, it could be something really great for us to actually honor space, you know, space in a different way. Um, you know, there are those people that you know kind of get up in your face, and you know, you're kind of have some personal space around you. Obviously, we don't need six feet. I mean, how many feet do we got between you and I said? We've been practicing you know, social distancing since we started <laughs> this podcast. Right. Um, you know, we're safe here. Uh, but I think it's, it's really um, you know, it's new for all of us. And how can we you know, maybe have those conversations with our children, with our significant others, or our friends, and just say, how are you experiencing, you know, this new, you know, kind of challenge in your life that we can you know, create a conversation around because it's all uncharted territory. You know, we're all learning something new every day. Um, and then we see, you know, just these crazy uh, situations where people are just not paying attention to it at all. And you hope yeah. for them, you, know, you hope for them that they're not going to get infected, but it's, it's almost blatant that, you know, it, if we can't pause our life for a week, two weeks, a month, two months, to ensure our health uh, and to you know protect others and not be selfish to where we're just thinking about ourselves and we don't want to infect others. Um, you know, I think that's part of what the learning curve here, right? Is just to you know kind of understand both sides of it and not to you know, get that family member or that friend or somebody else that maybe is is more prone to you know the complications that come along with this. So. Um, yeah, I, I get to challenge us, you know, as men, as, you know, you listening, you know, in our audience, you know, what, how can we keep this as a good habit to move forward? We don't go right back into our old you know, kind of ways of, of doing things and, and disconnect at a higher level again. How can we stay connected? How can we build these relationships to where they're long lasting and, and more meaningful? Man, good, good thing. Good question. Um, for sure. That's something we need to take forward. And, and I'm, I'm like this, man, um, on it, honestly. Right now is a real important, crucial time in all of this stuff because everything's been slowed down, like everything grinding hot, you know, or just a, a, a major slowdown. And now we just need to, in order to bring it forward, we're gonna have to, a couple things I think, look inside, one, and we'll see those, those people that are actually doing that after this is done because they're gonna be able to adapt and, and bring back the second thing, which is finding value in how we're living now and how we're connecting with each other. Um, you know, because the thing, if you don't value it, you, you're not really gonna practice it or think about it or have any influence towards it, you know? Um, and if you do, then you're gonna, it's the, just the complete opposite of that. Um, and, and then we have to also understand uh, there's parts, everybody won't be on the same page. There's still gonna be those people out there you know, that's not going to be an agreement. You know, it's a conspiracy. I'm not going to get it. So why are you even scared? And, you know, we look at it as selfishness. But but again, everybody just needs to be, or it could be, I wouldn't say needs to be, but it would be a lot better if everybody could 
keep an open mind and look at the other person's shoes. You know, you don't even have to put your shoe in there. Just look at it and just observe. Okay, and whatever they're feeling, just, okay, cool, it's valid. You know, I don't take shoes. You know, some people, like we do here, you know, at my home, but you go to some people's houses and, hey, you can't walk inside their house with your shoes on. Like here, your shoes are off at the door. You're like, honey, you can't, and it's like shoes off at the door. And other people, it, it's no different. That is just a more talked about issue. You know, it's it's a global issue. It's not something that's meaningless. Shoes, you know. But at the end of the day, it's just a difference of opinion. And you can think, man, you're crazy. Like your floor still gonna get dirty. Why well, I gotta take my shoes off or whatever? You can still feel that and still be in coexistence and peace with the other person without having to bash them, although you may think they're absolute nuts for it, you know? Well, and how many people do we watch or experience or even ourselves to where, you know, simple things like washing our hands thoroughly? You know, I'm, I can honestly say that, you know, there's times where I probably should spend more time washing my hands and, you know, I'm not out necessarily infecting others on a, on a purposeful basis, but who's to say that, you know, the little things that we've done in our lives that, you know, that passed on a cold or passed on other, you know, less significant types of illnesses, um, or just, you know, just that's, again, just that space, that space that we don't always honor in, within each other. We just kind of, you know, get up on each other's grill or, you know, we just, you know, we don't establish a, you know, a, you know, I guess a workable distance that feels comfortable. In, and then when we feel invited in, and then maybe there's that, you know, that willingness to you know, kind of create that more intimate contact, whether it's, you know, in, in a relationship or, you know, children with their, with their adult, you know, with their parents. Um, you know, I think those are our special situations where obviously, you know, you're creating a much you know, closer relationship and, and understanding the ramifications. But, you know, are those things, are there those things, like I said about, you know, not washing your hands as thoroughly as we could or all, you know, all the times that we should be. Um, and again, I think I'm not a germaphobe, so I'm not one that just tries to prevent myself from being around any type of exposure. Um, I, I believe that, you know, a certain amount of that is necessary for our bodies to, you know, build up some resiliency and some uh, ability to combat some of these uh, different things that come in our way. But you know, here's a prime example that, um, a sneeze or, uh, you know, a cough or, you know, touching a surface. I mean, these are all things that we do on a regular basis and pay no attention to it versus, you know, our awareness that might be, you know, not, you know, to the point where we have to avoid all of these things. But, you know, can we, can we live our life in a, in a little bit more practical way to be aware of those potential things that could come as a result of us being, you know, ignorant or us being sloppy or us being, inconsiderate um you know what can we do through this process to maybe you know refocus our energies a little bit to be a little bit more aware of how we're impacting others or how we might impact others yeah and i'm like man maybe i'm just being biased towards it because <laughs> my coach you know uh i've been on this awareness kick and i'm thinking man that's that's number one key really man is is awareness of everything, self, every aspect. Easier said than done, you know what I'm saying? But I believe like if we just focus energy just towards being aware, just being self-aware, like, and like my, you know, the, the slogan, focus, just focus on me, not anybody else, just focus on me. How am I being honorable? How am I being the example that I would want to see and just being all of that stuff. Um, and then that's when the other energies, that same energy is going to flow through, you know? Um, and then just, again, being mindful of that, hey, it's going to try and take the path of least resistance too. You know, am I just, <laughs> you know? And, but I think that's, that's the main key, man. Probably the biggest thing I would say we should work on to be able to bring that forward because we have to be aware of like, okay, everything, like how am I treating people? How is this 
affecting me? How am I communicating? And and like what we're doing now, trying to raise the consciousness. How do we take this bad something good and and reframe it? Uh, because we could very well be here, you know, nothing against all those shows, but bringing up all this negative conspiracy theory stuff, you know, like, oh, well, what is me? Like, what are we going to do? The government's doing this or this, whatever. And that's where our energy is going to go. And we'll just be living in fear and, and, and shitty, for lack of a better word, shittiness and, and selfishness. Mm -hmm. Because, oh, oh. It's not real, so I don't care. Since I, 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 I don't believe it, then ah, no, man, it's yeah. awareness, man, <laughs> awareness. Yeah, we talked, and we talked before about just creating space, right? Space in our lives for growth, space, you know, create whole space for others that are, you know, that are wanting to grow or wanting to move forward. You know, this is just another addition to that, right? Creating healthy space in our lives to, you know, kind of exist in a more healthful way, healthy way. Um, you know, I think there's all good intentions. It's, you know, it's not about trying to separate us as, as, as human beings because, you know, you know we, we are humans that, that feel love, that want to share love, that want to grow in love. And this is, um, this is challenging. I mean, think about those stories we hear of people that are, that are sick or that, you know, that are, you know, that are you know, most likely going to pass and they're not spent they can, through, because of the social, social distancing, because of the need to keep them isolated, they're not spending any time with those, with those loved ones. So that's the extreme of this, right? So understand, you know, we're kind of talking at a, on a, on a day-to-day -day basis, how we live our life and how we, you know, want to be mindful of not impacting others by spreading, you know, germs, spreading, you know, virus, spreading other you know, aspects that could cause illnesses. You know, think about those that, that somehow they, you know, were exposed, maybe in the same way that, that you, the listener, or somebody you know is not paying attention to. And now they're dealing with, you know, being in a you know, ICU unit, you know, quarantine, no, you know, nobody's visiting them other than the, 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 the caregivers that are trying to, the health practitioners that are trying to keep them, you know, alive and healthy, and they've got no contact with anybody. So... What is the choice here? Is the choice to maybe you know, honor what we're being asked to do from the health professionals or to not pay attention to it and potentially end up or know others that are now you know, kind of dealing with no exposure, no, you know, nobody in their life to have any type of you know, interactions with other than those that are trying to keep them alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Porn! Yeah, because I'm like, man, I can just imagine the first thing I thought just, what was it, like two weeks ago, I think the country, like, well, here in Austin, they had, it was only two weeks ago, they shut everything down. And then we got the news about your mom, but y'all were already locked down. And I was just thinking, oh, shit, like, how is this going to work? Like, he won't even be able to go in and, and see my dukes, you know, like, damn, that's crazy. And, and then just thinking about it, like, man, the reality is you could very well be putting another family in that, you know, to where they can. Like, very, very good point. And I don't know if that's what was kind of going through your mind, just, you know, having to get yeah. near that. But I know that's where my mind, I was just like, man, don't tell me this shit happened. <laughs> you know, like, oh, man, right now, yeah. you know. Um, and hell, that's not even my mama, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, golly, I, I definitely get it, man. That, and if it's nothing more than just, just to create a space to look at it, just observe it, mm -hmm. you know, Ron, and, and just like Ron coached me, like, it, we have a crazy relationship. We friends, then we got the show, and then you coach. <laughs> we got to turn a bunch of different, clicking a bunch of different switches. But it, like he always, you know, something he always brings to my awareness is just create space to just be mindful of what's going on right now. 
you know, you can you can think about the past and and honor whatever come up, whatever feelings, but be brave enough to just stand there, sit there, lay there, or whatever, and just observe it. See what's going on. And my thing with on the back end of that is see how you can maneuver yourself different or maneuver your mind different for the betterment of everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, just the betterment mm -hmm. of everybody. Yeah. And there's going to be a better day that comes out of this, you know, out of this experience. Um, there's a lot of tragedy, a lot of, you know, things that have happened you know, in the world that are just not, not great things to talk about. Um, but, you know, that you that are listening and, and for us as men on this earth, you know, we're, we, we're encouraging ourselves, you know, Cedric and I, as well as you, to, you know, kind of, as, as Cedric is saying, just be curious, be curious, you know, about what's going on with you through this process in, in a lot of different ways. And we're going to continue this conversation just knowing it's here, it's, it's you know, happening right now, it's going to continue to evolve. Um, uh, and I think it's important for us to continue just you know, kind of diving into different areas of this. Um, because I know there's not a lot of those conversations going on amongst men. Um, and I think that's something that you women, women may want to be you know, somewhat aware of is, you know, encouraging the men in your life, you know, the brothers, your, your fathers, your, your husbands, um, to, to share their thoughts and ideas and, and experiences with others. Um, you know, not bottle it up and feel like that's, you know, a place where you need to you know, kind of be strong and not share these things. Um, Cedric and I, you know, we create this space for us to show up and, and grow and learn and, and, and empower each other to, you know, to do these things that we feel, you know, inspired to do. But this is something that you can also, you know, you men listening in, you women, you know, women that might be listening in as well to, you know, if this is something that's of value to you, um, that you can just at least create some, some new awareness around and then make your own decisions make the best decisions you can and inspire others, you know, create conversations, you know, ask those questions that may not be the easy questions to ask of people in your life, um, of what they're, how they're navigating through this, knowing that there's, again, a lot of negative things that are happening, but also how can we shift our awareness around this growth opportunity around, you know, just our connection, our awareness, um, you know, creating safe, you know, habits around each other, you know, not going back into old um, habits of disconnecting, you know, social media is not going to go anywhere. It's going to continue to evolve. Um, but, you know, this moment where we're experiencing much more intimate, close interactions with our friends and loved ones needs to also be at the, the highest level of our awareness just to continue that growth and, and really use this opportunity in a way that's um, going to be powerful for everybody in the world. So I'm going to say my goodbyes to you said and uh to you the audience and we love each and every one of you for showing up um drop a comment um share the channel with others um subscribe if it feels comfortable for you or just pop on pop in here and there but um we're going to continue on this road of you know this virus that's impacting all of us in one way or another and i hope you all remain safe and love you said and say what you got to say I don't know why it's coming to me like this. I would just say, be a tree. Because a tree never changes from what kind of tree it is. And it grows. So be willing to grow new branches, which is change, and then learn and serve. I like that. And y'all can now check us out on Facebook as well, The Man Cave Experience. <laughs> like us, love us, appreciate us. We appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank y'all, thank y'all. And share with somebody, man. Share with somebody, please. It might help or might save a life. You never know. That's it for me, man. Until next week, y'all. We love y'all and... Oh, yeah, we got some special coming next week. Yes. All right, stay tuned. Yes, sir. See you, Seth. 
All right, man. Y'all have a good one. Love y'all. Love you, bro. Love you too.